everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today we are gonna be doing an amazing dish. We're gonna be doing smoked pork belly burnt ends. These are absolutely gonna be phenomenal. I've got a small package here of uh, sliced pork belly. You'll notice that these are pretty thick. They're almost like, I don't know, three quarters of an inch thick. Didn't get a whole lot of them. This is only uh, two pounds, but these are gonna be absolutely delicious. Watch how we prep them. Let's start by getting our smoker on 225 degrees. All right, got a nice fire going in our firebox here. Get this up to 225. I went into my local grocery store and they had pork bellies, essentially what bacon would look like, but cut thinner. These are probably three quarters of an inch to an inch thick, and I have four of these. We're just gonna cube these up and season them up. So let me go ahead and cut these up. We're gonna be doing this with uh, spellbound rib seasoning. I like a nice pork seasoning for any time I'm doing something that is pork. Frankly, you can use poultry on it as well. It's pretty good. Now we wanna keep in mind how big these are. These are gonna shrink down at least by half. So we don't want these things to be so small they're falling down through the grate of the, the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut them about two inches by one inch or so. A Couple of tips for you. If you're cutting pork, especially very fatty pork, this goes for beef too. If you put it in the freezer for about five to 15 minutes, and get it nice and stiff before you cut it. It cuts a lot easier, the, the fat isn't as stretchy. I did not do that, so I'm just making sure I have a good sharp knife here. You wanna make sure these are all pretty close to the same size as well. I'm just gonna lay these out on my cutting board and we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle on some of our seasoning. Now, I'm not going to go too liberal on this. Because these are just ends, what ends up happening is you get a lot of seasoning on them because you're getting it on six sides of a two-inch square, right? So it ends up being quite a bit. So I like to just flip these guys over. I'll probably go on three sides or so. I'm not going to go crazy. The reality is pork fat tastes amazing anyway, so I know this is going to have good flavoring. You'll notice I'm, I'm adding a little bit extra on a couple of these pieces and it's just because I'm going to tap them in here, try and get some on the sides, but I'm not going to go crazy and really cover all of these. Last time I made uh, burnt ends out of chuck roast, what I noticed is they were almost a little too much seasoning on them uh, because of their size and the amount of uh, meat there was in relation to each bite with the bark or the seasoning, if you will. And I'm just going to set them right here and we're going to let these set for about 10 minutes. What we want that dude is the salt in the rub to extract some of the liquid and the moisture from the meat. That's what helps it give a nice, real good bark on it. So these uh, thick cut pork belly pieces are gonna make a burn in. They've been sitting now for about 20 minutes. It's just the right amount of time. We've got this right at 225 degrees. And we're just gonna go ahead and pop these right on the top rack here. I'm doing these on the rack itself rather than in a pan. We will end up raising these near the end in a pan so they don't end up getting too crispy or burnt. We want them to actually be good and tender. And this is precisely what we want. Nice little pieces just set right on the smoker. We'll go ahead and close this down. So after about four hours of turning these every hour or so, I went ahead and took them off the grill and I put them in a pot. Could have done, certainly done it with a little aluminum tray and covered it with foil, but I just did it in a ceramic coated cast iron skillet. And I added about a half inch of water and about a quarter inch of red wine, and I just covered it up. Now what we want to do is just bring these up to about 205 degrees internal temperature. That's about the right temperature. So let's go ahead and probe them and see what the temperature is. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, that looks good. I'm just going to go ahead and give these guys a probe. Yeah, I think it's time to give one of these guys a shot. They're going to be hot. But pork belly burn ends. Oh my god. That is like meat jelly. There's a part of it that just sort of uh, dissolves in your mouth like cotton candy. The, 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 fat, the fatty part of it just does. And then there's a little bit of the chewy part where the, the meat was on the bacon. 
my gosh, that's amazing flavor. Wow. Just look at that. Man, oh man. That is something worth trying. I wouldn't eat this as a meal. I wouldn't have it multiple times in a, in a week or a month. Because I'm sure this is not healthy for you. But. That is some kind of amazing flavor. So if you've got your smoker going, I would encourage you, grab a little bit of pork belly, cut it up into cubes, and make you some pork belly burnt ends. Man, oh man. Safe and happy grilling, y'all. We'll see you next week. Bye now. Mm -mm -mm.